working for the sports channel. Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. This video will be the weekly game plan. These will be stocks and ETFs that I'm looking to day trade and swing trade. I'm gonna be throwing out potential entries, exits, and stops. This isn't financial advice. This is just my preparation for the coming week. The first ETF that I'm looking to trade this week will be the Qs, the QQQ, the technology sector ETF. And the Qs have earnings this week. A lot of the Qs, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, they're all gonna be reporting this week and they have a heavy influence on the Qs. So if they report very well, the Qs are gonna be flying sky high. So I'm gonna have a small little starter position on the QQQ. I might open up a wide debit spread, you know, buying a call and selling a call. Be sure to ask questions on that at Weenie Trades or Weenie Trades Live in the comments below. But I'm looking for the Qs either for a breakout on Monday just to build my startup position, or I'm looking for a dip buy if the Qs can come into the 320 level and then continue on upwards. So that'll be the first uh, ETF that we're looking to trade this week. The next stock that I'm looking to trade this week is PLTR, Palantir. And boy, we had an explosive day on Friday. Massive bull move, 25% plus. And PLTR, really good company. I think it has an intrinsic value maybe of about $240 a share plus. But I'm looking to dip by Palantir into 30. Otherwise, I might build a little bit of a smaller position into 30 70s, looking for the dip by and then the explosive breakout. Otherwise, if the momentum's there, I'm just going to take it through all-time highs. And Palantir, I've got you got to be sure to manage your risk because it is a volatile name. However, I do ha have pretty good confidence in it. So I'm going to be going with shares, calls, call debit spreads. I don't think I'll be selling puts or put credit spreads on PLTR, but really looking for a nice, good explosive breakout. And my stop is going to be daily a daily close beneath 30. And then Palantir might just need more time to consolidate, and then I can take another trade on it later. But if we close a day beneath 30, I'm going to be stopping out of that. Palantir looking for a move at least up to 37, maybe by the end of the week, but it might take a few weeks for Palantir to get moving. Our next stock that I'm looking to trade this week is BYND, Beyond Meat. And Beyond Meat has a really nice technical pattern. We have this nice good move up and we consolidated ever so slightly, just a small little pullback. It is 8%, but it did have a massive run up of 26%. And we just started to pop the bull flag on Friday. So I'm looking to add to my Beyond position just over 143. And I'm also going to be adding over 145. And I'm going to be looking for a move all the way up to 150. So I'm going to probably take a little bit of profits right around 148, 145. 49, but then if we can hold above 150 and prove it as support, I'm going to look for the next move up, up all the way up to 153, 154, 155 on BYND. Be careful with this one. The, the, there are a lot of uh, news about downgrades, but I trade off the technicals rather than the news. So the technicals look pretty good for BYND. And my stop is just going to be if we close a day beneath 143, maybe if we close an hour beneath 143, then Beyond just may need more time to consolidate and I'll have to stop out and look for a re-entry later. The next stock that I'm looking to trade this week is FSLY and FSLY keeps getting upgraded and we have this nice good higher low pattern and we keep running into this resistance of about 106, 107 area. So eventually the sellers are going to get exhausted if we keep hammering our head at that level. So I'm looking for the breakout early confirmation over 105, but I'm definitely going to be adding over 107 looking for the breakout. Probably targeting at least about 110, but maybe as high as 111.60. And then the next resistance would be 113.50. Next target would be 115.66. And then 117.80 is this important pivot high. And if we can get all the way up there, we might as well tap 120. But we're also watching for this gap at about 120.77. Gaps are more psychological. They don't always get filled. I don't base too much of my trading based off gaps, but they do tend to be magnetic in the market and so we had a massive gap down on fsly of 22 percent and so if we can start to fill at least just a portion of that gap that can offer some really good returns at least 10 percent plus and i'll be adding to my position that i already have so full disclosure i already have some of some positions on these stocks so i'm not looking to pump these or anything they're just still looking really good i like to add to my winners so that i can really have good profits coming on through. The last stock I'm going to be watching this week is BlackBerry and BlackBerry is getting some really good momentum from Wall Street Bets. I am going to be a lot more cautious on this name than other names. Even though Wall Street Bets is taking over the market, that doesn't mean that we can throw risk into caution. So BlackBerry, I'm going to be stopping out if we close a day beneath 14. Otherwise, I'm going to be adding to my position over Friday's high of about 1428. We might already gap up over it. If we gap up over this resistance of about 1450, I'm going to look for the dip buy at about 1450 and look for the continuation. And my upper resistance levels on BlackBerry are going to be about uh, 1635. Boy, these resistances um, 
are really um, up there. So let's uh, actually pull up the max chart. So we can pull up the max chart. We can see where we get these resistances from. 1732, and then if we can break and hold that. 20 area, 20 is going to be psychological. 2140, and boy, I, I, I don't know if BlackBerry can get all the way up here, but 2860 might be an ultimate target. It would be pretty ambitious for BlackBerry to start testing these massive breakdown candle highs, but maybe a long-term tar target could be something about the $65 a share for BlackBerry. But I wouldn't be too optimistic on it. Be sure to manage your risk on BlackBerry and be sure you know what you're doing and you be sure you know what levels, if they break, is really bad and what levels, if they break on the upside, is really good. So be sure to tune into Weenie Trades Live to see us trade these stocks live. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these weekly, weekly game plan videos or if they helped you make some money in the past. Let's get ready for the next week and thanks for tuning in. See ya.